Hello guys, it's Damien from Version 3 Technology, going to bring you a quick tutorial on how to create your own do-it-yourself Fusion Drive for the Mac Mini. Um, the prerequisites for this are that you've fitted an SSD into your Mac Mini, and there is already videos on YouTube of how to do that, so you need to do that. Uh, the next thing you need to do is reboot, so restart holding Command and R. And that will take you into Lion or Mountain Lion's recovery system. Now take a little bit of time, so keep your finger on Command and R until the Apple comes up. That should get you into the recovery system. So while that's doing that, there's not really a lot you can do other than wait. So here it comes, there's the Apple. Now I can take my fingers off the keyboard now. So we do that. Um, and here we go. It's there you go, it's booted in. Now the first thing we need to do is go straight into Utilities Terminal. Open up Terminal. I'm going to do that now. Here we go. Right. And we're going to run this from Terminal. This is how we do it. So Disk Util List. That will list you your drives. You'll, you'll know which drives are the one you want to use because you'll see the sizes. So I've got 128 SSD and then the 500 original Apple unit. So those are the disks, so I'm going to make a note of those numbers, so stroke dev, stroke disk o, and stroke dev, stroke disk 2. So I'm just going to type in here, disk util, core, storage with a capital S, create. Now in here you can name this whatever you want, I've just named mine, or I'm going to name mine Macintosh. So there we go, Macintosh. And then what we need to do is we need to tell Terminal what disks. So they're the disks you wrote down. So forward slash dev, forward slash the disk, first disk number, mine being disk O. All right, and then I'm just going to have a quick check up the top here. And then it's stroke dev, stroke disk one. And that's my two disks. Disk O, disk one. And now we're literally just going to hit the go button on that. But that will partition the drive, so you'll lose everything. So obviously make sure you've backed up and whatnot before you do all of this, which I would have thought was common sense. Um, I've used Time Machine for mine. That's formatting both of the drives now. And it's creating a uh, what they call a volume group. So this number here that I'm highlighting, this UUID, we need to copy that. So highlight it all. Command C to copy. Then we're going to start the process of actually of creating the volume. So disk util. I'll spell it correctly. I'm giving you time to write this. So core storage, capital S for storage. I'm giving you plenty of time so you can copy as you go along. Create volume, capital V. Now you can paste in the UUID. You've just so that's just Command V. Then JHFS plus, which is the volume type. That's the formatting type. Then quotation mark. Then name your volume. I'm going to name mine as normal Macintosh space HD in capitals. And then obviously you're going to close that out with another quotation mark. Then 100% to tell it that you want to use 100% of the drive. Go. And there we go. That's created your, your disk. Now reinstall OSX. As simple as that. Open up US, your OSX utilities. Install. Right, guys. Here it is. This is all done. As you can see, I'm just showing you the fact that the storage is one disk. You can see the total storage. There we go. That's complete storage. And then you've got the hard disk and the... Um, solid state drive as well combined there now if we actually go into the system report and I'll just find storage uh, here we go bam there we go all done and you can actually see that I've got the um, that's the logical drive the volume the complete volume and as we go down you can just see there's my Samsung 830 which is in fact I think was what Apple put in these anyway of a custom firmware so I just brought what was closest that's the original drive that came with a mac mini and bam that's it that's your 
Fusion Drive created. It's as simple as that. It's a really, really easy process. Obviously, I just backed up from Time Machine to get my map back to where it was. And I'm just going to show you now a quick speed test just so we can see how fast this is actually uh, running. So hit, you use Blackmagic disk speed test. You can get it from the App Store. Here we go. Nice re, a write speed of 305, which isn't bad for a Fusion. Obviously, it's going to depend on the solid state drive you buy. Obviously, the better solid state drive you buy, the quicker that's going to be regardless and I think bigger drives produce better write speeds as well read speeds are good obviously it's super quick it boots up very fast but guys that is about it really there's not really much more to say so I hope you guys enjoyed the quick tutorial and I uh, hope you enjoy your fusion drives with your Mac mini guys peace out see you soon